Today's event has been absolutely fantastic and I think there's been a lot of interesting things that have gone on today but the thing that I think has jumped out as the most interesting is that there is a solution to recycling laminate structures. The biggest challenge I think we'll come across in the adoption of sustainable packaging in the UK is probably getting the consumer to adopt and take on the packages that we're suggesting that can fit into a circular economy and then we have the cost as well involved in that. Technology costs money unfortunately so how do we pass on that cost or how do we deal with the cost in that? Today I talked about integrating the circular economy into university studies. It's very important to consider the machinery involved in sustainable packaging development right from the get-go because by taking a life cycle approach and thinking of all the aspects involved in packaging right from the start you can create an integrated solution that will reduce your impact of your packaging. There is an interest across the value chain and we find this too right now from the oil company through to the waste company and all the many different people in the plastics packaging industry all want to solve this problem and everyone's trying to find a solution. I think now for the first time really the whole value chain is working together and it needs coordination and perhaps a bit more coordination with government. Well, what we're seeing is that consumers at the moment don't really know what they want. There's a lot of competing things out there, be it health, be it promotions. All these things are competing with sustainable packaging as part of their mindset. I think what we are seeing is that more sustainable pressure is coming through. So we're seeing people adopt plastic bags. So people are doing it, but it's almost by stealth. I don't think they're making a specific choice at the moment. We need to give them the benefit and the reasons why they should be making the change. Considering machinery at the beginning of packaging development is actually one of the things that's often forgotten. Knowing what suppliers can actually do with their machines is a very, very important part for a designer to think about. I think if we can also close the loop on that and bring the machinery people into the discussion for future developments, it could be very fruitful. I think it's massively important that our customers engage with Multivac and machine development companies right at the start of product development. And the reason for that is that if we're creating products that can't fit a circular economy, then what is the point in us doing it in the first place? We must make products that fit into a circular economy to make this work.